Despite the macroeconomic conditions that we're facing, entrepreneurship has never looked so good for someone who's just getting started. And hear me out, a lot of big tech companies, a lot of big startups, and even small startups are getting obliterated right now. And you know what? That leaves a lot of holes to be filled when it comes to competition, okay? That may be the wrong way to say that. Don't take it the wrong way, you perverts out there. But in today's video, what I wanna do is show you a startup that is completely crushing it on Shopify. They're worth over $65 million. And we're gonna do a very deep dive into it so that you can get business ideas, marketing ideas, branding ideas, market ideas, all sorts of ideas for your business. And hopefully that is the same for me. I'm trying to get ideas out here with you guys. So without further ado, the store that I'm talking about is called Quinn's. And as you see, what they sell is basically everything. <laughs> They're actually a bit of a general lifestyle store. And to be honest with you, I find that on my channel, what does the best are one product stores, stores that only really sell one product. However, I really love stores like this as well. So I don't like the in-betweens, I guess, but I really love one product stores in stores that are just like a lifestyle business, right? where they can sell anything related to a certain lifestyle. So as you see here, they sell travel accessories, jewelry, silk, clothes, cashmere clothes, home products. So just a classic lifestyle business. And guess what? They've raised over $64 million from investors. And this is actually the second brand of this kind that we've seen before that's raised multiple, multiple millions of dollars, deca millions, in fact, that is a lifestyle business, which means they sell a range of products. Super interesting. I think it's a, a very interesting concept going on right now. And I think investors are really looking into it because it really mitigates risk a lot. You know, they're spreading their risk across different products and different product offerings. Therefore, you know, they really can't fail as long as they continuously make really good products. And what it seems like to me is that they're taking a similar business model as what dropshippers tend to do, which is to sell direct from the manufacturer. And this is a hypothesis that I've had for a long time, is that more big businesses will begin to dropship their products if it makes sense to do so, simply because of how much more seamless it is on the logistical side, and also because some customers are certainly willing to wait. Not everybody likes to shop on Amazon, especially because Amazon sometimes is hit or miss when it comes to product quality, but if you have a consistent product quality, even if your shipping times are a bit longer, people will be willing to wait and shop at your store. Now, let's actually deep dive into the numbers here because I actually finally signed up for a pro account at Similar Web. I'm testing it out so we can look at some of these metrics together. The description for the business is, Quinn's brings luxury products like Mongolian cashmere, Italian leather, Turkish cotton, and washable silk to everyone at radically low prices. Shop premium essentials with no middleman. Yeah, exactly what I was saying. The no middleman tag is literally just drop shipping, okay? But what they do is that they go above and beyond with their supplier relationships. And that's what I talk about with you guys when it comes to just communicating with Alibaba suppliers and actually building a relationship with them. And this is exactly what we're doing on our Shopify chat GPT challenge store that we're building, which we're basically building as a machine and also as a lifestyle business, like the one that I'm showing you right now. And yesterday we reached our first $500 day, which is super impressive. I'm very excited about the progress of this. And if you wanna keep up with that series, I'll link it in the description. And I will say everything we've done so far in this store has been almost exactly according to the Shopify brand starter kit that we sell at Akemi Lab which comes with a fully done template on Shopify that you can use to optimize your store for conversions. This is what we're using as well. And it comes with a full course on how to actually launch the business, get product ideas, launch Facebook ads, meta ads, TikTok ads, etc. So check that out. It'll be in the description. It's on sale for 20 bucks right now. So some of the best value in the whole entire e-commerce game. But ultimately, as we see here, this store has gotten 11 million visitors. That's a lot of visitors in the last year or so. And we can easily estimate through that that they've done over $10 million. So their monthly visitors right now worldwide are about 3.6 million, 1.3 million unique visitors. This is actually very interesting data. I've never gotten to look at this. I just signed up for this. And, you know, their visits over time, here are some of their competitors. Wow, they're actually crushing the competition. And these are all stores that are kind of a similar niche 
made well is another one but made well apparently is crushing it even further so we'll take a look at that in a different video i don't want to get too distracted a lot of their traffic distribution is from paid search organic search and direct search so makes a lot of sense right and wow this tool actually shows us their top search ad right here which is this quinn's high quality essentials radically low prices i don't even see radically low prices on their story if you ask me but again they're crushing it so they definitely are doing something right and look at this so their social traffic is mainly coming from facebook which is actually exactly the same as our chat gpt challenge store that is primarily the platform we're focusing on is meta ads so we're running paid ads through meta so that the store can be more or less automated from the beginning and we can continue to grow it year over year honestly now that i'm seeing these lifestyle stores right now I'm starting to think that we can really scale this store to like 500K a month by the end of the year or something. Um, that's a bit ambitious, but really the way things are going and the way that I see businesses crumbling, it really is leaving huge room for opportunity. So very exciting stuff. Now, real quick, if you want to join a community, right, because I know a lot of you don't feel safe, right, in this space because you're like alone, you have no one to ask questions to. Join our Discord. It's a free community. People absolutely love to help each other out in there. And you'll surround yourself with other entrepreneurs that are on the same wavelength as you. And we don't just talk about entrepreneurship in there. Sometimes we talk about sports. Sometimes we talk about art, productivity, philosophy even. We have some crazy philosophical debates in there. So join it. I really genuinely believe it'll add value to your life. And it's absolutely free for the most part. There are some paid sections, but we don't need to talk about that. The free stuff in there is absolutely incredible, and I'm very proud of where the community is at right now. And it's all because of you guys, really. It wouldn't be the same community without all the members within it. So I just wanna take a second to appreciate you, say thank you, and you know, we're learning a lot from this brand. I mean, mainly what I'm learning from this brand is you can scale something pretty big if you just take the right positioning. So if you position your website in a way, and your brand rather, in a way where you can add value to people's lives, regardless of your method of fulfillment, you can raise money, you can make a ton of money. I'm still baffled by the fact that they've raised that much money. But if we take a look, for example, at their home products, we take a look at some of their pillows here. They got this classic thing. It's traditional retail. This is actually so genius because by doing this, they're actually not discounting their products but it feels like they're discounting their products because they're showing you the traditional retail value of the product, which may or may not be true. I'm guessing it is true, <clears throat> but we'll never know. They also got buy two or whatever. Like they got some good upsells in here, a great landing page. And yeah, I mean, that's really about it from the website. Like I, I really don't think there's that much more to say about it. They got a really nice description. It's very, very well done, very trustworthy. It handles a lot of objections very well they got an faq so again they're following basically the exact template of the shopify brand starter kit that we sell that's why we built the template right we look at literally hundreds of seven eight and even nine figure shopify businesses and that's what we created the template based off of so that anybody could create a similar website as this obviously this takes it to another level right because they have a ton of branding and a ton of custom coded things but you can achieve a similar result through just the Shopify templates out there, especially if you use our template on top of it, which is based on the Shopify 2.0 templates, which are the fastest themes out there. And yeah, pretty interesting start. Hopefully you enjoyed this and that's about it. Check out the links in the description and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.